Industrial sci-fi has always interested me. I've been almost more fascinated by the mundane aspects of whatever future dystopia or utopia is presented in front of me. My favorite place in Mass Effect is the Normandy. You can hear the bass hum of machinery, see the low-key hustle as crewmen keep the ship operating to spec, wander into Shepard's quarters and wonder yourself, I wonder what the bedsheets smell like. Guess it depends on whether you're playing one or three, since Shepard sort of evolves from being a Picard to a Kirk, and that faint imagined odor becomes less and less like Earl Grey tea over time. Anyways, it seems like my fetish for the humdrum gets more extreme as the humdrum gets drummier. Enter Duskers, a game all about piloting drones through derelict spaceships to gather space scrap. Ah, oh, this is perfect. You're a space scrap collector, but you don't even have to collect it with your own hands. You might get space tetanus from that. No, 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 no. You get robots to do that. And, oh my, you can even just program the robots with a string of commands and watch them carry out their orders while you stare at a green computer screen surrounded by the soft humming and lazy beeping of the machinery. But wait, wait, wait one second. What the hell is this? And what, you say? You're abandoned in space and the ship is the last known vestige of humanity? And the derelict wrecks are filled with unknown dangers you have to strategically avoid, trap, or destroy in order to accomplish your mission, which is to discover why humanity seems to have been wiped off the face of the universe and somehow regain communications with survivors, if any? Oh man, damn you modern game design. Why do you have to completely destroy my relaxing scavenging simulator? Oh, what's this? Oh, there's a plethora of weapons you can strap on your drones to kill the bad things. Uh, do I gotta earn a kill streak beforehand? Oh, let me just type D4, comma, three, turret, comma, two, move, R4, comma, generator, comma, close, D3, comma, open, D2. Oh yeah, yeah, look, I just blasted that alien whatever into space. What a goddamn Twitch fest. I'll be teabagging his vacuum desiccated corpse next. These enemies kill you too damn fast. Where's the slow buildup? Where's the drama? Just screw up once, and bam, you're out of business. Oh yeah, if I screw up enough, then the game just restarts you back into some different galaxy where I can start again. What, Halo Health too hard, Duskers? Like some sort of roguelike with randomly generated logic puzzles that take patience and intelligence to maneuver your way around dangerously fast and deadly opponents. You know what that sounds like to me? Console Kitty Microsoft 360 port designed by committee bullcrap. I'm, I'm I'm half expecting a CG Kevin Spacey to pop up around one of these mysteriously vague pieces of machinery to remind me to press the X button to kill space aliens. <laughs> this is a joke. I can kill space aliens on my own, Kevin. I don't need your help. Okay, maybe there's a bright side to all this. I did pay $10 after all. Gotta be something appealing in this single developer independent PC title. Uh, well, when your drones go down, they go down for good, and they're usually too valuable to just throw out a problem. Permadeath, I like, I like. Oh, and the AI reacts to the environment, so you can usually tempt an enemy into an empty room, and you can just seal off from the rest of the ship, or somehow blast them into space, or activate the ship's defenses, or not even deal with them at all, so most of your problems can be solved without even dealing with the evil space robots, aliens, or postal squares that seem to litter these spaceships. Non-linear problem solving, I like, I like. Oh, and you have to manage your collective resources stringently so you only have so much fuel to go space fishing with so you have to choose your targets and your route carefully you can use the scrap you collect to just tread water and repair your existing drones and modules or upgrade them to better versions of themselves resource management and mild RPG mechanics so okay duskers getting a little on the exciting side gotta go back a little bit there's tons of reading I like that the logs you get out of most of the derelict vessels are corrupt but some of them hint at whatever it was happened around here and you start on covering a narrative, which gives you better inspiration to keep exploring. And, and you know what? I really like the procedural nature of this game. The threats here are very dangerous and will scoop defeat out of the jaws of victory time and time again, but they are predictable. You have motion sensors you can use to recon the rooms next to yours, and since you can remotely operate doors, you can guide the enemy AI somewhat, either into or out of your way. Your drones have cloaking, some stunning weapons, and some attacking weapons, so depending on what the RNG decides to hand you, you have options to overpower, sidestep, or avoid the enemy AI altogether. All of this means you have to follow a pretty strict checklist whenever you're invading a derelict, or else you run the chance of space demons running out of one of those rooms you didn't scan and overrunning your entire operation. So dock with 
the ship, scan the ship, move into the first room and get the generator running, scan the adjacent rooms, move into the ones that are not occupied and make sure to close the door so no monsters get in, scan again. If you encounter a monster, guide it towards a room that seems useless or towards a dock so you can suck it into space. If you have the armament, kill it outright. Rinse, wash, and repeat. Sometimes this repetition is even a little too much for me, and it's probably the weakest part of the game. I'm not sure how to fix this, if it's even a problem. Part of the repetition keeps you on your toes. You know, if you make a teeny mistake, it's all over for you. And when you do screw up, you get a little frustrated that it's because you didn't scan a room or forgot to close a door or some other niggling issue. That and the repetition are what will keep you from playing, if anything. The graphics are expressive and unique in their mysterious minimalism, and the difficulty of the levels in enemy AI combined with the somewhat clumsy and direct controls and the frenetic typing that results from an unplanned encounter, trying to close doors and activate modules and move all the defenseless drones out of the compromised area. For a game about scrapping dead things in space, it's actually quite thrilling in a lot of ways. And I hate it.